Welcome back to another episode. Today we're out on Gull Lake. You guys can see it right behind me here. Um, it's about nine o'clock in the morning right now. We had about an hour drive. Uh, Gull Lake's located in southern Michigan. I don't know. If any of you guys are around here, you've probably heard of it and fished it. It's one of the bigger name lakes in southern Michigan here. It's got some big fish, big smallies, big pike, and some big largemouth mixed in. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, we just found a little piece of structure here. Out deep that we're gonna go off to and cast. It's in about 27 foot of water. One little piece of structure on a big sandy flat. Sandy point, actually. Does that make you sad? Oh, dude, that was something. Come on. Oh, yeah, I'm on it now. How are there not fish on this? I like my newly organized. Oh, yeah. There he is. Good. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, he popped off. Look at him. That's so cool. Man. You can still see him. There he is. That's a big fish. Second drop. Get the net ready. I don't know how big. Oh, that's a good one. Eh, I got him. Let's go. I did. That's all it takes. We were talking about that. Sometimes all it takes is the first one to bite at it, and then next drop, like, we've casted straight down, dropped down on them a couple times. And then that first one bit, and very next drop, right away this one ate it. Want to get a quick pick with that little fatty. See you, buddy. All right, guys, we just marked a little tree. I think there's a little crappie off the backside of it or something. They might be smallmouth, but I'm pretty sure they're crappie, so... Good. It's right here, right in front of us. There he is. <laughs> That's so sweet. First cast. That's a, a small mouth. Ugly boy. Whoa! Large eat. Oh! Yo, it is. Very ugly large mouth. First cast. That is so sweet. That is sick. No, it's not. So cool, dude. 41 foot, dude. <laughs> deepest largemouth I've ever caught. See ya, boy. First large of the year and my deepest ever. That was kind of sweet. I thought it was a really ugly smallie. Just gonna drop down. We're back on some of the brush piles we marked earlier just because. We went offshore and graphed for probably a good two, three hours and we saw nothing. had very little luck. So, this lake's definitely tough right now, but I don't really know what else to do. We're just gonna go back to what was working for us and, oh, I just missed one. Or it could have been the stick too. Nope. Yes, dude. Feels so good. You know it's a bad day when you're taking a picture of a 12-incher. Guys, we're switching up game plans. We uh, did a lot of offshore stuff this morning. Bite has just been tough all day. Um, this lake gets hit pretty hard, as you guys can probably tell. There's a lot of boats out here, and it's a Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of pressure, and just this time of year, it's tough. It's been cold the last couple days. Um, not trying to make excuses, but... Um, so we are going to switch up game plans here. I, uh, what do you have tied on? Mega bass spark shad. He's got a little spark shad swim bait tied on. I just put on a little jerk bait. We're just gonna move up shallower here and try to find some of these more active fish that have maybe moved up on top of these 10 foot flats, something in that range. It's also um, a lot warmer shallow. And yeah, the water is quite a bit warmer. Because the water's so clear, they're able to see our, our boat a long ways off. So we're just gonna try to make kind of long casts and maybe get bit up on these shallower flats. So that's the game plan for the next couple hours at least, see if we can't have any luck with it. Honestly, I think. Got him. It's probably a pike. Largey. All right guys, so you saw we just caught that largemouth and I think it was my second cast. So we're just gonna continue to make long bombs out and uh, hopefully try to target some more of these um, fish that are moving up onto these shallower flats looking to feed. Water temperature here is about like 43, 44. So 
Just trying to do long, slow rips. Give these fish lots of time to key in on that bait as the water's still pretty chilly. I don't think so. He ate it really funny. No. Oh. Sweet. Another one on the Kaitek. Half his lip is red and like the other half isn't. That's a weird looking Eight. fish. See ya, boy. He ate it so funny. Do you see how many, he like tick, 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 and then grabbed it. Well guys, that is a wrap of the day here at Fishing Gull Lake. Uh, it was definitely tougher than expected, but that's been the case uh, the past couple days with the weather cooling way down basically all of earlier this week. Um, still caught a few. I think we finished with like 10. A couple smallies, not as many as I would have liked to. But thank you for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do. Really appreciate that. We're trying to make a push for 500 here. So yeah, if you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.